Chess friends, this is Stockfish Robo, and you are watching Stockfish vs Robot Humanoid Hans Zero Chess Match. What is Hans Zero? Well, a human who have computer intelligence power, it is called humanoid. No, it's not. Because technology has not advanced so far. Today Hans Neiman will play against me by using Alpha Zero 16 engine. Yes you heard right. He will use my chess engine alpha against me. Yes, of course, it's a cheating. But I give him permission to cheat against me. Let's see if he can win by cheating. Hans played e4. You can play e5 or Caro can defense d5. I played e5. Knight f3. Knight c6. You can play Rui Lopez, or bishop opening. Hans played knight c3. I played knight f6. You can play bishop e5, bishop c4 or d4. Hans played g3, because he is a stockfish subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then like and subscribe the channel to get more interesting content from us. So, g3 move plan is to play like this, then castle. h3, king h2. Preparing to play f4. d3, supporting the pawn with bishop. And your kingside positional structure is incredible. You can play like this on your games. So bishop c5. Bishop g2. d6. Castle. a5. Hans played d3. White can play a4. Knight d5 on his next move h6. Knight e5. Castle. c3, top engine move, he want to play d4. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Then push the pawn, to open up the e-file for the rook. Bishop is supporting the central squares. And you have small pawn space and no better center controlling pawn once the e-pawn moved away. White wants to make a another key pawn. So, I played knight takes d5. e takes d5. Knight e7. d4. You might think e takes d-pawn is not good because the knight will arrive, bishop have a good control on this diagonal. Rook will come there to using the file. Bishop f4 is a another idea. But e takes d4 is best move. Knight takes pawn. Because black didn't pawn his pawn very far. White's structure is not connected. When you have more expansion of your pawns, and if it's not connected then it's become very hard to protect the expression pawn. However, pawn takes pawn is not possible because of this. The knight is threatening the d5 pawn. And the d4 pawn is a permanent target for the bishop, right? So he played knight takes d4. Knight f5. Queen d3. Queen f6. You shouldn't take the knight because the bishop will develop with a threat. So knight b5, threatening the pawn. Bishop b6. Knight a3. White is threatening to play knight c4, threatening the bishop. Bishop f4, connecting the rooks. Bishop e4, targeting the knight. I played played rook e8. Knight c4. Bishop c5. Hans played knight d2, again a top engine move. He want to play knight e4, targeting both of these pieces. So, I played queen g6. Knight e4. Bishop b6. Bishop f4. Bishop d7. Rook e1. Rook e7, I want to create my rook battery, to target the knight. Knight d2. a4. Taking the rook is just a normal move. It doesn't bring any big advantages. Therefore you can literally play f4. So h3, he wants g4. Rook e8. Rook e4. Rook takes e4. You might think bishop takes e4 is best, pinning the knight to the queen. 
but the queen will moves away, supporting the knight very well. So, Hans played knight takes e4. I played king f8. Beautiful move, what is the move strategy? Well, I will play g5 in future. So, the knight can't create any attack to my king and any of my pieces. And king f8 is totally fine black bishop can't get access to this diagonal because of this structure. Any my pieces are frezzed, I can't move my pieces frequently, you shouldn't push your pawn. That's why I played this move, it's a pausing move. He played rook c1, inaccuracy move. Best move was king h2, supporting these pawns with king as end game preparation, and push your pawns, so the bishop will no longer to pin the pawn. I played knight e7. c4, he wants c5. Bishop f5. Threatening to play knight f6, to pressuring the knight with knight, bishop rook queen. Rook e1. Knight g1. g4. Bishop d7. I want to play f5, then bishop takes f5. I want my bishop there. Bishop e3. Bishop takes b6. C takes b6. G takes f5. Bishop takes f5. Threatening to play knight f6. f3, again a wrong move, because Hans have little time, he can't use alpha engine properly. Best move was king h2, so the bishop would be free form pinning. Bishop takes h3. Threatening mate in 1. Rook e2. Knight f6. You can't take the knight because you will lose your queen. He played queen e3 but best move was to play rook f2. I played knight h5, threatening to play knight f4. So queen e3. Bishop f5. Threatening to play knight g3, you can't take the knight because of this. Knight g3, knight takes knight, rook takes e4. Position will be very bad for white. So, rook f2. King g8. Rook e2. Rook e5. Rook f2. Knight g3. Queen f4. Knight takes knight. f takes e4. Bishop takes e4. Queen h4. Rook g5, targeting the bishop. So, queen h3. Bishop takes g2. Rook takes g2. This is a big exchange. And king takes g2. It's over. Hans Zero resigned the game. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.